Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the idea of ISO cost. You can find more videos on economics, econometrics, SPSS, RStudio and mathematical economics on my YouTube channel. The links are given in the description. Let's begin with the introduction. ISO cost line shows the various combinations of two factors of production, that is labor and capital, that produce given level of output. So it shows all combinations of labor and capital that cost same output. So cost on ISO cost line remains same. Suppose price of labor is W, that is wage rate, and price of capital is R, that is interest rate. Let's understand the ISO cost equation. The total cost is equal to amount spent on labor plus amount spent on capital. That means producer spends all cost on labor and capital. Now amount spent on labor is L into PL plus amount spent on capital is K into PK. Now price of labor is W and price of capital is R. So therefore, TC is equal to WL plus RK. So here, WL is the amount spent on labor, that is wage rate into labor units, plus RK is the amount spent on capital, that is rate of interest into capital units. So RK is equal to TC minus WL. And if we divide the equation by R, then we have K is equal to TC upon R minus W upon R into L. So here this minus W upon R, which is nothing but the uh, factor price ratio is known as the slope of the ISO cost line. So minus W upon R, which is equal to minus PL upon minus PK. That minus sign shows that ISO cost is downward sloping. Let's take this example. Suppose total cost is $1.40, price of labor that is wage rate is $1.08 and rate of interest is $1.04. See this table? Combination A says that there is no labor unit. So producer uh, can purchase 10 units of capital because price of capital is $4 and total cost is $40. Now, if producer purchases one unit of labor. That means $8 are spent on labor. So remaining $32 can be spent on capital and out of that $32, producer can purchase eight units of capital. If producer purchases two units of labor, then $16 are spent on labor. So from the remaining amount, producer can purchase six units of capital. Similarly, we can find combinations D, E, and F. You can see the total cost is constant. Right? So if you increase the labor units, you have to decrease the capital units. See this diagram. On horizontal axis, we have labor units. On vertical axis, we have capital units. So first we have combination A, zero labor and 10 units of capital. Then we have combination B, one labor, eight capital units. Combination C, two units of labor, six units of capital. Combination D, three units of labor, four units of capital. Combination E, four units of labor, two units of capital. And combination F, five units of labor and zero units of capital. So here you can see ISO cost line is downward sloping. That means producer cannot increase both the factors of production simultaneously. So increase in labor units leads to decrease in capital units. And therefore we have downward sloping ISO cost line and the slope is factor ratio. That is W upon R or PL upon PK. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.